Doctor. Welcome back to an episode of Does It Do Exactly That It's Supposed To Do? Where we take everyday items related to the construction industry and really put them to the test. Nowadays, it's mandatory to wear safety glasses just to even step foot on a construction site. Which has got me thinking, just how safe are safety glasses? Today, we're going to be putting various styles of safety glasses through some grueling tests just to see how safe they really are. We're going to be simulating the most common workplace accidents, but with a twist. So you're going to want to stick around for this one. And as always, roll that intro. Yeah. And I'm guessing you're kind of wondering why I got female models to do these stunts. And well, my answer to that question is to get your head out of your ass. Come on guys, it's 2021 and females are dominating the construction industry right now. Plus, it's all like I get hold of of Craigslist, so yeah. Okay, so the first one of the tests is gonna be the table saw. And the reason for the table saw is because we're gonna simulate kickback. Kickback is where a piece of wood or whatever you cut it on the table saw is wedged between the blade and the fence. And then the blade forces it back at you which causes kickback. And trust me, it hurts, so we're gonna test this one out. So let's go do it. So this is test one on the hips of the glasses with the table saw kickback. Let's get to it. They seem pretty good, there's not, they're untouched. No mark on them whatsoever. Pass or fail? Pass. These ones pass. Test two with the table saw kickback. Let's get to it. Oh God. <laughs> over fire. Way over fire. So we're gonna try that one again. So that's take two of the table saw kickback. Let's try it. So I'd say that's a hit. Oh, I think everything survived. Glasses look untouched. I'd say that one was a pass. Let's try the next one. Test three, let's go. She's okay. And the glasses survived as well. Without a mark, that's a pass. Let's get on to the next test. Next is a baseball bat. And I'm guessing you're kind of wondering why the hell you chose a baseball bat? Well, imagine this, you're on site working and there's someone running around swinging a baseball bat in a mad rage. And you're thinking, should I grab my glasses or should I run for it? Well, we're gonna make that decision for you. So let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, test one with the hipster glasses with the crazy person holding a baseball bat. Let's go. Don't think they survived on that one. You know what, the actual glasses, to be fair, the glasses themselves survived, just the arms didn't. I don't know if you can see that little mark. I would say that's a pass. That would have protected my eyes, I'd say. Let's try the next one. Okay, test two with a crazy person holding a baseball bat. Let's go. Oh, I don't know about these ones either. Oh, I think they're salvageable. You know what? I'd say that's a pass. I'd say these ones did better because there's not even any kind of mark on those. I'd say that one's a pass. There's not even a single mark on those other than the, the missing arm, but yeah, let's try the next one. Okay, test three, crazy person holding a baseball bat. Let's go. Whoa.
All right, literally untouched again. You know what, if a crazy person does come at you on a construction site with a baseball bat, uh, the safety glasses would save your eyes. Your face and your head is another question. Okay, just before we get into the next crazy experiment, I just wanna quickly go over this week's sponsor. Just bear with me one second. Skillshare. Skillshare is a rad online platform with thousands of inspiring classes to either explore new skills, deepen existing passions, or simply just get lost in creativity. It's cold. That's better. So they have many different classes to suit everybody's interests and needs, from videography to photography, from color grading to video editing. So you can really show off those finished DIY projects. So premium access gets you full unlimited access to all the online classes that are just right for you. It's also extremely affordable. With an annual membership, it comes in at less than $10 a month, which is pretty decent. Personally, I've used Skillshare a lot, and I've always been kind of intrigued by green screens and visual effects, but I never really took the time to really knuckle down and learn how it works and how to use them. So the past week, I came across Paul Trillo's course, DIY Green Screen for Film, creating surreal visual effects. Paul shows you exactly how to do everything involving green screens, from lighting and shooting all the way through to editing. And trust me, I know what I've got going on here really isn't that incredible, but I'm having fun messing around with it, and that's kind of really what matters at the end of the day. Not only is Skillshare, not only is Skillshare cool enough to sponsor this video, but sh shut the f I'm trying to film something here. That's better. Not only are Skillshare sponsoring this video, but they're also cool enough to give the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link in the description down below a free trial of premium membership. So you can really explore that creativity. Thanks again for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back at it. Yeah. Next is the frame and nailer. And I've seen this happen too many times that people get carried away and nail the foot or the hand. So we're gonna see if the glasses will protect your eyes if a nail ricocheted off and aim for your eye. So let's go test that one out. Okay, for the next test, we've kind of had to move to a, a more uh, undisclosed secure location because the tests were kind of getting a bit extreme for my front yard and um, the actors are kind of giving me a bit of grief. So we'll give them a five minute break. <sighs> Daddy, the actors won't come out if we get some more grapes. Okay, test three with the hipster glasses using the nail gun. And honestly, do not try this one at home. Let's go. This is a bit high. Let's try that one again. Okay. Oh, you can see it. So it didn't break. You can just see that it caught it right at the top there and it knocked the arms off. But other than that, that probably would have saved your eyes. I think that one's a pass. Let's try the next one. Okay, test two with a nail gun. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just like right next to it. My goodness, it's like that same spot every time. How is that keep on happening? Okay, so let's uh, take three. Test number two uh, with a nail gun. Let's go. Come on. Did it hit? I really don't know if it hit. If it did hit, they're untouched. So that, that's a pass, if so. Yeah, let's try the next one. Test number three with a nail gun. Let's go, let's see what happens. I think that hit. It came back. Oh, it definitely hit. Okay, we got a hit right in the forehead, but it didn't go through. So that would have saved your eyes. So that's a pass for these ones. All right, that was horrible. So let's move on to the next test. Next is this pellet gun. And I'm guessing you're kind of wondering why the hell would someone have a pellet gun on site? Well, they probably wouldn't, but imagine you're grinding some metal with a grinder and a piece of metal or a spark comes flying off and flings in your eye. Well, we're gonna try and simulate that with these pellets. So let's go test it out. 
Okay, test number five with a pellet gun, and we're gonna try and recreate the sparks and the pieces of metal flinging off from an angle grinder. Let's see what this does. I don't see any marks at all. So, uh, yeah, that's for this one. Let's try the next one. Okay, test number two with the pellet gun. Let's go, let's see what happens. Not a single mark though. No, that's a pass from these guys. That would have protected your eyes. You impressed? Let's try the next one. Okay, test number three with a pellet gun. Let's go. Not a single mark, nothing. This is a pass for these guys. Let's get on to the next test. Yeah. Next is the bow and arrow. And I'm guessing you're kind of wondering why would someone have a bow and arrow on a construction site? Well, imagine this, a piece of rebar has come flying towards you and you want to know if the glasses would protect you from that rebar. Well, we're going to try and simulate that with the bow and the arrows with the metal tips. So let's get to it. Yeah. Okay, so the next test is with the bow and arrow and we're going to try and recreate a flying piece of rebar. So let's see what it does. Hit. Oh, that's a bit of. Just marked it. Didn't do anything other than just a little mark, a little graze. That's a pass from these guys. Let's try the next ones. Test number two with the bow and arrow. Let's go. Okay. That was a hit. Again, just a little smudge. I would have saved your eyes. Pretty impressed. Pass from those ones. Let's try the next one. Okay, test number three with the bow and arrow. Let's go. Okay, that was definitely a hit. So we've got a little dent, but not too much. I think that would have saved your eyes. So this is a pass from these guys. Let's try the next test. And last but not least, my personal favorite, the flamethrower. And the reason for this one is mostly because I managed to get my hands on one and I thought it'd be badass. So let's go see what happens on this one. Yeah. The last and final step, which is my personal favorite, the flamethrower. There's not much to say about it, so let's just get into it. Yeah. Okay. Well, seriously, I think if you got a torch to the face, Your eyes would be okay. The glasses pretty much took a pretty good beat in. You can't see it out of them anymore. The eyes are good. That's a, surprisingly, that's a pass from these guys. I wasn't expecting that. Let's try the next one. Okay, test number two, flamethrower, let's go. Okay, well, okay, ow, they're hot. Okay, so that's, they actually got clearer, uh, which is surprising. And uh, they did, I think they did an even better job than the last ones. And I seriously thought these were just gonna go like disintegrate, but um, no, that's, a, that's another pass with these guys, I'm impressed. Wow, let's try the next one. Okay, test number three, let's see what happens. Okay, okay. Well, again, I mean, they did surprisingly well. I wasn't expecting them to last as well as they did. It's a pass again on all three. So who knew safety goggles could protect you from a flamethrower? Well, your eyes anyway, your face is, uh, is another matter. Okay, so to summarize today's video, I really think that all three glasses did fairly well considering. I really thought that the nail gun and the bow and arrow was gonna completely destroy them, but they hardly left a mark on any of them, really. We had a couple of arms snap off, but nothing really broke. They simply just clicked back into place. So to conclude this video, yes, safety glasses do do exactly what they're supposed to do, and I do highly recommend you wearing them, especially if there's a crazy person on site. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you've got any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down below. 
If you get any ideas on future videos that we want us to try out, please let us know that as well because we are open to ideas. If you want to go see some more day-to-day -day stuff, go follow me at raddadbuilds on Instagram. And if you like home improvement, woodwork, DIY, go see some of my other videos floating around here in just a second. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Yee!